Yo, 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 what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Killbook here, and I'm finally gonna bring you guys the DLC gameplay for Awakening. Now, I'm playing on one of the four brand new multiplayer maps, Skyjacked, of course, the new revamped version of Hijacked from Black Ops 2. And starting this game off, you can see I'm doing a little wall run. I'm pretty sure everyone knows. Team Art made a video, everyone. I mean, it's kind of obvious and really cool, but for those of you who don't know, you can actually wall run. And I'm already in the enemy spawn in what, 15 some seconds? And actually get a kill right off the bat here probably surprise them and in this gameplay it's not the best I go 52 and 14 so I did drop a 50 bomb but KD wise it's only like a 3.7 but I just want to get a gameplay out for you guys and I got another one coming out tomorrow about splash and that one is a little bit more exciting but I'm not gonna spoil anything so you guys are gonna have to stick around and watch tomorrow all right now talking about the class that I'm using in this game this is kind of my uh, sweaty lobby score streaks kill horror type of class and of course it is the vesper rocking that diamond camo and i'm going with long barrel grip quick draw as well as fast mags uh no secondaries no lethals no tacticals no nothing uh for perks i'm going with six cents scavenger and blast suppressor and scavenger just because you know you melt people just like right there and you run out of ammo so quickly so you can swap that out fast mags for extended mags but i just like the fast mags and always having 30 bullets in my gun so i'm always ready for a new gunfight and engagement now talking about the map itself i mean of course original hijack you know just like you would think from black ops 2 except you could wall run now so it makes the gameplay a little bit more different and you know the where i'm saying right now on the left hand side there's the big opening where you can get into the basement because beforehand you could just camp out the two stair steps or ladders whatever you want to call them well they're ladders there's actually no stairs i don't know what i'm talking about but um so it's actually really great that they implemented that because if it was like hard point i think it was hard point even back in black ops too because i don't think it was called headquarters but yeah, you know, throwing a little uh, OG love at you guys. Yeah, so I'm glad they implemented that just because people would camp and it'd just be so frustrating trying to get that hard point. And I mean, look at that. The Vesper is just melting these dudes. And I think Kill Confirmed is probably one of the best. And oh man, he stole my tag. One of the best gameplays or game modes that you can play in order. <laughs> I just destroyed his mind. I just love this gameplay. I'm loving this game. Like I said, I mean, the scythe absolutely beast but like i was saying getting too distracted here you know going ham oh sit down boy and oh i wish i would have gotten that guy but you know got that second hater that kill confirmed is probably the best game mode to get your kill streaks just because you get 50 points for a kill and then i believe yeah it's 100 for every tag you confirm and then i think 25 or 50 for a deny but i, I don't really deny too many of them and you know if you don't even get a kill and there's like a few tags laying around you can just get a lot of points like you can see i just got a few points and right there hater assist all that good stuff and another confirm so it's one of my favorite game modes and it'll increase your score per minute and if you're working to you know get a few motherships then i recommend either domination or kill confirm and see look at that i just sniped that guy with the vesper i mean long range you could even do some damage if you're controlling the recoil all right doing a little burst firing but I can't really give you guys an overall opinion about the DLC yet just because I haven't had enough time to play it and um, so maybe in about a week or two once I get more gameplay of it I'll have a better feel of what I think of the game and as a first impression absolutely loving it you know they did a great job maps look absolutely gorgeous just like right here the weather looks so menacing and stormy and I love it and I wish because I don't think there's a map in Black Ops 3 currently where there's rainfall or anything like that. So I really want them in the next DLC or future DLC that they implement a map where it's a little rainy environment just because I love that so much. But overall, absolutely loving it, you know, and time will tell. I'm not even bored with this game, so with an introduction of four new multiplayer maps, it's definitely going to spice things up. Uh, I played on Rise. I think I played on every single map except for Gauntlet today. I played on Hijacked and Splash a few times. Splash looks absolutely amazing, and you guys will see that tomorrow. A lot of editing done just because it was a really long gameplay. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. There it is, 52 and 14. And like always, YouTube, ich werde euch nächstes Mal sehen.